Hello everyone and welcome to another oddchecker.com slash US preview of a primetime NFL game. I'm Davis Maddock from SportsGrid.com and I'm here to preview the Baltimore Ravens playing at the Cleveland Browns. If you go to oddschecker.com slash US, you will see the Ravens are favored by three points in Cleveland. You can get the Ravens at minus 163 on the money line. The Cleveland Browns are plus 145 on the money line. The total for this game is 46, slight plus money on the over. My guess is that will probably vacillate a little bit as we get towards kickoff. Diving into this game, I have to say, I have not really ridden the Ravens this year the way that I did last year, which has saved me some money, and I, I am a little surprised to see this line at only three. I kind of assumed that there would be a hook at three and a half. Um, the Ravens do get a lot of public money, of course, because they are, you know, Lamar Jackson was the MVP last year, uh, Harbaugh as the head coach, they're, they're very popular. The Browns, basically the opposite of a public team. No one believes in the Browns ever, kind of no matter how well they play. And certainly this is a worse Ravens team than last year's teams. They're 18th in the NFL in yards per play. That's worse than the Detroit Lions. Uh, and the Browns have been much better than that, right, uh, over the course of the year. they This has been the most impressive stretch of Baker Mayfield's career. The Browns are 8th in the NFL in yards per play, uh, though they are not quite that solid in terms of points scored. So uh, the, the Browns' red zone troubles do still stick around. However, I'm on the Ravens' side here for a couple different reasons. The first is both of these quarterbacks are bad at playing from behind, and I don't think, well, of course, you know, anyone can trail in a game for any reason, right? Pick six, weird special team stuff, but obviously the a, a large outcome of the time, we're going to see the Ravens playing from ahead. The Ravens, despite all of their struggles this year, are still good at playing from ahead, right? Regardless of anything that they've gone through this year, they still play downhill pretty well. The Browns, of course, play downhill as well, you know, very well. Both of these teams struggle playing from behind, but I do think the Ravens should get out to a lead in this game. But also, the yards per play stuff really is not super favorable to the Browns when you dig a little bit deeper. If we go to Football Outsiders, we'll see that the Ravens are 8th in the NFL in total DVOA, including 7th in defensive DVOA, 2nd in special teams, but all the way down at 21st in offensive DVOA. The Browns are 12th in the NFL in offensive DVOA, but 19th on defense and 27th for special teams. And kind of what that tells me is that the Browns are, are a pretty average team. Maybe you would even say slightly above average in terms terms of offense, but the areas where Baltimore struggled in terms of offense, I, I expect them to be better. You know, one of my long-term priors is that Lamar is going to figure things out. This offense will get better. This offense will have success with Lamar at the helm. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion. I honestly don't even really know. But I know that I want to be on Lamar here at minus three in Cleveland. And I also want the Ravens money line as well at uh, minus 160, minus 165. And also want the over on 46 as well. So everyone head on over to oddschecker.com slash US to get the most up-to-date odds for anything that you want to bet on.